Hey guys, this is Salamander Anagram with ReactorTutorials.com and this video is the third part in a series on creating advanced custom knobs in Reactor. So today we'll be building this knob right here, which has a built-in uh, modulation ring and receiver module that allows you to receive incoming events and uh, use them to modulate the value of the knob. So today we're going to start uh, where we ended off our last tutorial, which was this knob here. We created a mouse area that is broken into four knobs, and we'll be using the same framework to create the knob I was showing you at the beginning of this video. So instead of breaking our mouse area into four pieces, we'll be breaking it into two, which we can accomplish with some very simple edits. Let's begin by changing the width and height of the mouse area itself to both be 40 pixels. And then we also want to change the size input to the size macro to be 40 as well. And next we want to edit the active macro. Um, we can get rid of two of these areas because, uh, like I said, we're only going to be splitting the mouse area into two pieces. And we want to change the range. The first uh, area is going to be from 0 to 0.66, and the second one is going to range from 0.66 to 1. And next up I'll change the highlight multi-picture. Um, which is a custom image that I made with Knob Man. Um, so it's basically uh, three images, one with no highlight, one with the knob highlighted, and one with the modulation ring highlighted. And this will just let you know uh, when you're hovering over the knob with your mouse which element is active if you click with the mouse. And again, we want to split this or edit this to only split into two pieces so we can just get rid of two of these knob value macros. Simple enough. And we're not going to be using the multi picture um, rings that I had set up from last time, so you can delete those as well. And next up, a few months back, I had a tutorial on how to create the image of a modulation ring similar to the one in Massive. Um, so I'm not going to build that again here, but I will link you to that tutorial in the video description. And um, the one that I have here is slightly different actually than the one that I make in that video because I lost uh, all my stuff in a computer crash recently, but um, so I, I made it again using that video and there's a few small changes. The Really the only important thing that I've changed here is I'm multiplying the amount incoming by 0.5. And other than that, this macro is exactly the same as the one that I made in the previous video. Alright, so I'm going to use the center value, which is kind of our knob value here. Um, and it's controlled by a mouse area, but I want to have the image of a knob beneath it. So I'm going to use an IC send with that value, and I'm just going to connect that to a knob using the connect tab of properties. So we're going to send from the IC send to the knob, and this way our mouse area will be controlling our knob here. Um, and then to add modulation to that, we can use a receive module. Not to be mistaken with an IC receive, but a receive. And we're going to multiply the incoming receive value by the modulation amount. And then we can add that to the knob value. And that will create a modulator for our knob. Um, so these are the only uh, parts of the ensemble that you want to be uh, polyphonic that we've made so far. Everything else wants to be mono, but once you get the receive in the mix, uh, you want it to be poly. So we can add an output to our macro and um, take a minute to rearrange everything on the panel. It's kind of a mess by default. 
So a good way to do this is uh, you can turn the frames on on the multi pictures. And that makes it a lot easier to line them up with each other and with the mouse area. So keep the frames on, line everything up, and then you can uh, turn the frames off of the multi pictures. Kind of hard to select. And then we're going to layer that whole thing over our knob. So uh, the receive module is invisible by default. So we can hop into the structure again and select that and turn visible on in the view tab of the properties. And then when we are um, back on the panel view, we'll be able to select which send is being received by the receive module um, from a drop down menu. So let's just create a send with a simple LFO. Um, select menu in the view tab of properties of the receive module. And if we select the receive to receive from the send that we just created, then uh, we can watch the movement um, right here. And you'll notice it stays within the range that we've selected on the panel. All right, so once again, this is Salamander Anagram with ReactorTutorials.com. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I'll leave you a link to the videos that lead up to it. And um, obviously this framework we've created can be used to design a whole bunch of different types of knobs. And I hope you guys will find a good use for it. And I'll be back with the next, another tutorial next week.